Good morning, bookworms. Um, so I posted a photo on Instagram on Friday, which was yesterday, saying that I really wanted to possibly film like a weekend reading vlog and just about like kind of bookish things that I'm doing this weekend. Um, and people said they wanted to see that, so I was like, great, so then I'll do it. So here I am. So first of all, last night I finished reading Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow, and it was so good. It is this is absolute five star read for me. It was amazing. Um, I just loved it so much. So I'm really, really glad. You'll hear more about why like in my wrap up, but I just finished this one and I feel like I have a little bit of a book hangover, but I'm not going to let it get me down because I've already been reading so well for August. Right now it is Saturday, August. What's the date? Do you know what the date is? 12th. It's the 12th. So it's August 12th and I have read one, two, three, four, five, six books already. Um, so I want to like continue on that and see if I can keep finishing a book every other day. That will be like amazing. I doubt that I will, but I'm gonna, gonna aim for it. Um, so the next like potentials that I have on my list right now are The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. This one is sitting on my night table. Um, Invictus or Frostblood by Ellie Blake um, and I have to switch arms I didn't realize how much my arm would hurt vlogging like this I think I want to read the gentleman's guide to vice and virtue more than any of the other books but I'm leaning toward Invictus because um, because it's arc August and I feel like if I read this then I will have two arcs read because I have out of those six books only one of the other ones that I read was an arc so I don't know. Oh, but actually it's Tome Topple too, and Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue is on my Tome Topple TBR. So, I don't know. So right now I'm actually just watching a little bit of booktube, which I'll show you. There's Monica on my screen, and there's my cue of what's in my watch next. I'm actually really excited to watch Alexa's um, Harry Potter collection this weekend, because I haven't had a chance to watch that yet. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna finish watching a little bit of booktube enjoy this delicious cup of tea that Andrew made for me um, and then I'll probably get into some other stuff. Okay, bye. Hello again. Okay, so now that I have gotten dressed, I wanted to, I'm wearing plaid, see, I'm not in pajamas anymore. Ignore my really messy kitchen table right now. Um, I just wanted to show you some of the things that I got in the mail recently because I'm so excited. Um, so first of all, this I've been like really, really looking forward to and I'm so glad that I got it. Um, Flatiron was kind enough to send me an arc of The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert and I am obsessed with this cover. Like this is probably one of the most beautiful covers I have ever seen, ever, ever. It's so gorgeous. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to, to reading this one. This has been like very, very high on my list of things and I'm definitely gonna try to fit it in to read during arc August because how could I not I'm just I just can't wait um, but then this wasn't the only thing that they sent me they sent me like a couple of other things along with this so I'm gonna show that to you right now um, so they sent me a bookmark that says into the hazelwood they also sent me uh, this lovely tote bag so that way I can carry the cover around with me because this is so pretty. I've actually been using an Owl Crate tote bag a lot lately, but I might have to switch it for this one. Um, and then they also sent me a snow globe, um, which has, it says girls made of snow and glass in it. I'm not sure if you can see it yet until the like little snow is gonna settle. So that's really, really like just a very cute tie in for that book, which my giveaway is still going on. So if you want to enter it, please click the link down below um, and you can get your own art. And then I wanted to show you some of the bookish candles that I've gotten in the mail. Um, so this was another thing that I announced in my bookish news video was that Novel Yours came out with jar candles and I love them. Um, so I got my first three. I got Levi's Pumpkin Mocha Breve and I want to eat this candle because it smells so good. Um, this is probably one that I'm going to order like so many multiples of and just be burning like throughout the entire 
fall and winter and spring and summer because it's so good. Um, I also got Wizarding Waltz and this one smells like pine, mint, snow, and butterscotch and you actually can smell all of those things which I was really surprised about. Um, I didn't know how pine and butterscotch were going to go together but it like really works. And then the last one that I got from her is Romance Trope and this one smells like strawberries and champagne and it really does. It's so good. I would eat this one too if I was allowed to. And then I also got a couple of candles from the Melting Library. Um, she came out with a Luna Lovegood candle. This one's called Distinct Dottiness. Um, a lot of you have been asking me about how to get these because she does sell out really quickly. So she usually restocks on Sundays. So I kind of just stalk her Instagram then and I'm ready at my computer to buy like whenever she's like, now. Um, so I got this one. She came out with a new candle for Bobaton, which I thought was such a good idea. I've never seen this before. Um, and it smells like Chanel number no. five, which I think is so perfect for those lovely little French students. And then she brought back two old favorites. The first one being Half-Blood Prince um, for obviously Snape. Um, and the other being my favorite, Pippin's Pint. Um, this one smells like hops, oatmeal, honey, vanilla, and apples, and it's so delicious. Um, I posted an Instagram photo of this the other day, actually, like, in front of my kitchen table background that you see right here. Um, so I can leave a link to that down below, too. I think that's all the mail that I want to show you for now, and then I'm probably going to start doing some Instagram bookish outfit photos so that I have those for the week. Um... Yeah, and I still haven't decided which book I want to read, but I'll keep you updated. <laughs> okay. So I realized that I forgot to start this vlog with the most exciting news of the morning. Um, so I woke up and I went onto YouTube to see what was in my subscription feed so that I could add it to watch later. And while I was on there, decided to just check out my channel because, you know, you do that. And... I have 15,000 subscribers. Actually, I surpassed 15,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so, so much. Like, that was amazing to wake up to. I don't know what happened, but thank you. <laughs> so yeah, um, that was really exciting. That actually, so that should have been like the first thing that I said in my video because I was like so excited about this, but then that was hours ago. So I just like wasn't thinking about it. Um, but anyway, so now I have finished like opening mail and stuff and I'm probably going to start doing outfit photos soon as soon as I finish drinking my tea. Um, I'm currently watching a little bit more booktube. Right now I have Cece on there talking about why Harry Potter should not have been an Auror. I really like her HP Chats series, so if you haven't seen those, you should. Um, and then I have like a little sneak peek of some new clothes there that I haven't yet put away. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now and what I'm going to be doing, and I still haven't decided on a book, so yeah. Hi! I still haven't done outfit photos, and I still haven't chosen a book to read, but I have been working on my bookshelves, so you might see there's like a large gaping hole right there, and the one thing that is annoying about having rainbow bookshelves is that when you buy new books and their spine colors fit in with the other colors, it involves an entire day devoted to just like shifting everything so that you can fit it in your shelf. So that's annoying, but I wanted to do that now because I figured before I take out the photos because in the last couple that I've posted, like the bottom two shelves have been a little bit messy and I usually like crop a little bit of it out, but I figured try to fit it in, try to make it look a little bit neater. So this is something that's been like a long time coming and I've actually also been making a master spreadsheet of all of the books that I own um, and it's really helped me figure out like some books that I'm like why do I still own this? This is one that I need to unhaul. Red Queen. Um, and yeah and it's also helped me prioritize like TBR and I've been doing like like highlighting ones that were favorites and stuff because I realized like there's so many books that I have on my shelf that I love so much that I tend not to talk about enough in videos. Um, so I feel like it'll make me just more organized overall. Actually, if you guys want to see a video of my spreadsheet and I can explain like how I do it in case you want to organize your books too, I'll be happy to do that. So let me know. Um, but I'm just going to get back to shifting all the things um, so that I can move on to outfit photos and then sit down to read and have another cup of tea. 
Okay, I am just about finished with my bookshelf. Um, this is a little view of it. Um, so once I finish that, I'm going to take out the photos, but I wanted to just say that I am so excited because I have been watching booktube while I'm reorganizing, um, and I added videos from this morning into my queue, and Jane from It's Jane Lindsay came out with a bookish candle video, which... As you know, I have a bookish candle problem, so I'm really looking forward to watching this one. It just like popped up and I was like, ah, let me just tell everyone in case you're not aware, like you should watch Jane's candle video. And now I'm gonna finish and then I'm really gonna do all the photos. Bye. So now I'm just taking a couple of outfit photos. Thankfully, Andrew is always a good sport about taking them for me. Pretty much what I do is um, during the week, I'll like plan a couple of outfits um, and then I will like I write them down in a to-do list and then I just spend a little time like changing outfits and holding books and stuff so that I'll have some content for Instagram. So that's how that goes. This is my first outfit that I'm doing today. Okay, so I finally decided upon a book that I want to read. I am going to be going with Invictus by Ryan Grodin. Um, I've been really looking forward to this one, so this is what I'm going to do after I eat breakfast. I took a little break from doing outfit photos. I'm probably going to do some more after I eat and then jump into Invictus or maybe read and then jump back into outfit photos. I don't know. I'll see. Um, but I just made breakfast for Andrew and I and I'm currently watching Alexa and Mackie's Harry Potter collection, uh, which I'm really enjoying. Um, and I'll show you our breakfast and the little clip that I'm up to. There's Alexa and Mackie. Right now they're showing uh, some Hufflepuff merch. Um, and then this is the breakfast that I made for Andrew and I. I usually make eggs on the weekend and then hard-boiled eggs during the week. So before I start reading a chapter or so of Invictus, I'm just gonna make some more tea. Um, and I got the cutest um, electric tea kettle ever and it is like revolutionized making tea. It is so much easier than like putting the water on the stove and waiting for it to boil um, because it heats up so much faster and then it's also you just like click a button and then there's your tea so it's pretty nice but I just wanted to show you my teapot because I really like it. This is my cute little red teapot and you may notice that there are just candles everywhere in my households. So here we go. It's a little bit later in the day and I have now officially read three chapters of Invictus and I really like it. Um, I'm definitely glad that I went with this one. I think because Forest of a Thousand Lanterns was really good but it was a fantasy and a lot of times I like to switch up genres like while like between reads. Um, so instead of diving right into another fantasy I decided to move on to a sci-fi and I think it was the best choice. Um, and I figured while I have you here, I'm going to show you the artwork that I have hanging above Andrew and I's bed. Okay, so on the left I have my closet, then I have my hats, then I have Harry Potter um, artwork that my friend Chris told me about, thank god, because I needed that. Um, and then here we have our bed that's not made, which is why I'm only showing you the top. Um, but I'm going to actually get in a little bit closer. I have a bell print, then that is a map of Neverland, um, then I have a print of The Hobbit, then there is a print from Avatar The Last Airbender, and then the bottom row is the Sailor Moon Biker Gang, um, Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service, and Spider Gwen. So that's that current setup. When I take like photos, this is a sneak peek of an upcoming photo. Um, I just, I hung like book pages on my wall um, and then I have a like board that I put this like wood panel stuff on and then that section is a mess. Um, but yeah, that's what my little desk area looks like. <laughs> Hi. So um, there ended up being more footage than I was expecting just for this one day. That's Andrew's appearance in this vlog. Um, and. Because of that, I've decided that it's just going to be a Saturday bookish vlog. Um, and right now, Andrew and I are having a little sushi feast and we're watching Little Witch Academia on Netflix, which is so cute. Um, we're five episodes into it and there are so many parallels to Harry Potter. 
so it's very enjoyable. Um, but I just wanted to say that this will be the end of my vlog. I always forget to do sign offs, so this is me signing off and saying goodbye. Um, I'll give you a last shot of my beautiful sushi meal that I have here, um, and then I will see you guys soon in a new video. I hope that you had a good weekend. Thank you.